what I what I am really sharing is that there is a discovery a discovery that each and every one of us is fully able fully able to make for oneself and this discovery and again we can clothe this in different words and different concepts but this discovery let's just call it discovery for now this discovery totally removes suffering it's the cessation of suffering now to be even more radical which i don't which i'm not always at the beginning but i feel like i can say that this here um you, it's not actually the cessation of suffering it's more profound than that it's actually the realization again these i should say it cannot it cannot actually be properly described in words so all these words are not quite right so i say realization it's not a realization really because realization implies the mind and you will discover that this has nothing to do with the mind nothing to do with the mind but it's a realization and this is counterintuitive is a realization that there was never any suffering ever it's it's the cessation of what's sometimes called duality but it's not the cessation of duality again it's the realization not a realization using the word <laughs> realization there was never any duality ever now it may not be hitting home quite how radical this teaching is or maybe it is what is this discovery this discovery is discovering what we truly are this is the way I phrase it. We just when we discover what we truly are, duality, suffering, not only do they disappear, but they never appeared. This is a bizarre statement, I know. duality is suffering suffering is duality how can there ever be any suffering in that which is divine and whole and pure how can there ever be any hate any hatred any sin any negativity in that which is wholly positive do you understand that rhetorical those rhetorical questions yeah how can there be any negativity any sin at all in that which is wholly good wholly positive and that is what you are what i am what we are is total positivity wholly good goodness total goodness where there is no sin sin we can we can use whichever definition of sin we want whether we call it a mistake there are no mistakes 
or whether we can call it um, you know a transgression what we are is divine divine being putting into words that which you already know so as i said it's an intuitive teaching and you know this already so please allow the part of you that knows this already to resonate with the words rather than the mind going oh do i like that do i not like that is that does that fit in what i've what i've heard before or you can do a bit of both, whatever you want. Now, so if there's this wonderful discovery, or discovering who you are, how do I discover what I am? That's the next logical question, right? Well, that's the teaching. 